And that was the end of Vija's <laughs> drink phase. Yes. Yes. So yes. Now it moves on oh, to Keith. Oh, Jesus, that was a lot. <laughs> uh, I'm keeping this card and I'm drawing six. Also, Gog, thank you for letting me use my cheating card. <laughs> You're welcome. I've not seen my cheating card, my anti-cheating card yet, you're, so... You're, yeah. You're It'll leaving. be the bottom of the deck, naturally enough, now that yeah. I'm in the, danger of golding yeah. out. Yeah. Right. So, so um... 
what's everyone's state of play at the minute? Well, let's do a recap then. You are, uh, there's a, a difference of four for you, mm -hmm. and you've got two gold and two artifacts, right? So you've got four gold, technically. Yeah. No, one right. artifact. One artifact. I've got three gold. Those are discard. Oh, no, see, oh that's your gold. discard yeah. bar. So you've, got, you've effectively got three gold. I've effectively got four gold. And there's but God have uh, most 11 health. difference. Yeah. I have the most health, but like yeah. I say, I'm in very, I've, I've got no real way of getting more gold. Mm. So I'm in danger of that. Urfart has, is within four also, and has basically 19 gold. Most, most yes. of the gold on the table. Um, so if someone gets Urfart too drunk, is the 1%. One percent. Mm. So Shadow to be Fox fair, he's also the one working here. <laughs> Shadow Fox as Roxana. It has a difference of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven currently, and I at ha ten gold. I've I've come in with what I I've started. For, so currently, I'm with what I started with. Yes, although that ten gold includes two artifacts, one of which is the aforementioned lodestone. But um, Shadowfox is also back in control of the gleaming gem of inebriation. Therefore, what every drink will gain additional alcohol. Uh, and Vija, meanwhile, um, is. Got three eight. mixers in play, as a difference of eight, and has seven gold. So uh, Vijay is in a good position. He still could yeah. go another round, I think. But yes, Keat. I'm sorry. Into I'm sorry, <laughs> Phil. Uh, <laughs> looks like that this artifact was booby trapped. Lose two fortitude. Uh, and you get to reveal My final artifact. It's a pitcher of plenty. You may play this card during the order of drinks phase of your turn to order two additional drinks for free. Ooh. Except it costs you a gold. <laughs> <laughs> Except it costs you a gold, so you're probably not going to want to use that. Yeah. There's still 14 cards in the drink deck, so we still got a bit to go through. That's yeah. true. Just as well. Well, that is my action. Uh, I will give a drink to uh, Nerodia, and let's see how this goes. I mean, you sure you don't want to add, give out more drinks? <laughs> Dark Ale Ooh. with a chaser of... Dark, dark Ale! ale. <laughs> hey. Double Dark Ale. That's not too bad. One alcohol each. That's two. When does that playing you any now? cards, though? Uh, that leaves me with two. The difference of two. Uh, How much gold do you have left? I have three. Hmm. <laughs> You're considering. I'm considering. Including the thing... Including the thing that, if he uses it, loses him a gold. <laughs> so, <laughs> true. Mm. Yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd say there's many ways Key could go out. He's uh... a yeah. mm. go. Well, I'm now happy to go out because I've shown up all I've shown all my artifacts, and that's what I wanted to do this game. <laughs> Is it time to dance with Gog yet? Gog has Gog. nothing in his Let, hand. So. Let's find out. Gog has a completely empty hand. He presses the magical button and then reads his cards. Hang on a second. <laughs> Tell you right now, they're very different cards. <laughs> Fair enough. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Well, is Gog gonna gamble? <laughs> For the love of Gog. Um, <laughs> well, again, what a strange collection of cards to get. Not quite as cohesive as you'd hope. What I need is definitely not there. Let's put it that way. No, no dancing. Um, dancing is literally going to be the last right, card. Right, <laughs> let's see what can be done. Hang on, I'm going to quickly have a nose again at people. Um, a lovely hmm. little board in the middle there, telling us that. Indeed. Wait, didn't you laugh at Gog again? I seem to recall. Uh, far. <laughs> no. Why did would I laugh make, at Gog? Did, did I believe not... I. I believe I thanked Gog for volunteering for stuff. Hmm. Gog a will give you Gog, story. Gog will give you pass. I you the there, small-hatted one. Yes. Gog still appreciates your hat. Thank you. You there, tall coffee buff man. Yes. Nice apron. Thank you. I believe he's also fellow orc family. You there, apron cooking girl. <laughs> yeah. Gog already see apron. There's <laughs> nothing new to Gog. But have you seen my turn? Also, also, you are small. <laughs> Sorry, Gog not see you sitting there. Oh, no. Oh, I no. pick another player and they lose three fortitudes. Three. <laughs> and I, play, I pay a gold to fix the chair. <laughs> oh no! I, I mean, it's, it's it's inconvenient, but I left something in the oven and I have to run away. If that ignores the action card, okay. you don't have to pay yeah. pay the gold and everything. Yeah. No, you get the gold back. I get the gold back. Excellent. Oh, can I in in? It's not letting me drag it on. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> it's like, yeah. it's actually, right, look. It. Actually, looking at the because the the card that's been played has an ore 
on it. Mm. And the ore uh, is reduced the alcohol content of a drink you are about to drink by two. So yes. I actually kind of think that might work out good for us doing that. In the long run, yes. Yeah. In uh, the long run, right. Yeah. Um, mm, uh, Gog drink e phase. Gog drink phase. Well, this is going to be very amusing. Um, well, who's getting a drink? Wench has four. Mm, <laughs> which I mean, you can keep loading up the, the wench, wench if you want. The wench is four. No, I, uh, wench is four. Two and two for the apron. For the apron, apron twins. Ears. Keith, 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 has no, Keith has no drink at the minute, but you know what? I I very much think that, that this wasn't the amount of drinks you had previously, Shadow Fox. Oh. I think you should have another drink. <laughs> Thank well, you what does Gog drink? drink? What is Gog drinking? I'll tell you right now. Gog is drinking... Oh, dark okay. Ale. Dark Ale? What? There's Dark Ale flying around. That is a triple yeah. there. That's three, that's three Dark Ales in a row, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Technically. Mm. Well, of how I'm going to go with a with a Dark Ale. I will yeah. say, thank you very much for the drink, Gog. Here's some food in oh, payment. No. Oh. Uh-oh. You must... The Fire Sound of Flambe. Play this card during another player's drink phase. They must drink an additional drink from their drink me pile. That other card you've got there. <laughs> Certainly. Gog drink go, more. Go, hang on, that is just the one, right? Yeah, yeah. this is the one. Okay, yeah, Gog is also one. drinking <laughs> a dark <laughs> ale. <laughs> <laughs> Four dark ales. Are you, are you sure Gog's on? Doesn't is still on the Elven wine, or is he had a change of? Her? I I would like to refer you to our previous discussion about what's happening with the game because it doesn't like our cards have shuffled, and now we've had two dark ales with a chaser of dark ale, basically. I did shuffle. The, I shuffled the deck afterwards, anyway. So. It's, this is this is yeah. This is our game is haunted. That's the title <laughs> of this episode. Our game is haunted. <laughs> Somewhat appropriate, considering the fact that it's Leon the Leader. Yeah, the it's, um, true. Anyway, right. That's uh, that. Okay. That's the that. And guess and guess who got Gog's attention again? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, first part turn. VG, you get a card back. Hey. Oh, thank you. What was that? I don't know. I don't get to see. No. <laughs> I'm going to discard my gambling card, unsurprisingly, and draw one, two... Three, okay, four, that's five, kind five, of sort of useful. Good. Uh, uh, I mean, I did draw an action card, but it's one I don't want to use. Ah, really? thankfully I have another action card I can use. Uh, don't touch the hair, which is probably good advice because the hair is snakes. Um, however, I am going to use my glare ability, which means, Vija, mm -hmm. you get another card back, as does yeah. Keat. I'm going to say the snakes look like they're appreciating the uh, the, the attention. Yeah, yeah, I, I do as well. Mm. Okay, uh, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I like it. It, it is distracting for Nerodia, and she's trying to work. Now, who do I want to hit is the question. Any volunteers? Hi. Hi. <laughs> I heard Gog afterwards because I'm not hitting um, Keat because that will kill Keat. So, uh, sure, Gog, if you want to lose free fortitude, is it free fortitude? Yes. Free fortitude? Yes. Ooh, free fortitude. Ouch. Ooh. Why was I so kind? Especially mm. when I can say that not hurt, this hurt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you lose free fortitude as well. Yeah, I don't think there's much I can do about that, so... Uh... Kind of expected that one. <laughs> there is the gog. There is the gog counterpunch, everybody. I'm there just trying to get the one. There's the one. There's the, yeah. one. There's the ticket. Uh, okay. Well, my other option was to play gambling. I'm in. So uh, I. Oh, no, am, you, you have a third option. I did have a third option, but I don't want to use. Us. <laughs> Look over here. Not, he does have a third More option. Drinks. Uh, play this card during the order of drinks phase of your turn before you before you order any drinks. Order two additional drinks for free, and each player you give at least one drink to during your turn during this phase also has to petrify one card. Oh wow! Oh, so, that's... Um, so who are you giving the dark ales to then? <laughs> one yeah. to Gog. So Gog, I need a card. God's sake! I'm just getting rid of this. <laughs> right. Okay. We'll go. You can have that one. Uh, good luck. Uh, Keat, you can have one because you're out. You can have the card that I just that you just gave me back. Yeah. That goes along <laughs> and. I'm going to give my last one to Phil. Oh, thank you. Petrify card, please. We're just going to keep giving the winning hand. Back. Yeah. We're just going to keep <laughs> having Yeah. We're just going to keep you having can, the winning can... hand back again. Aren't we? <laughs> so, so keep keep one card to the side. But... Well, you say <laughs> that. Uh, I'm not entirely sure I'm going to live much longer. So uh, that's well, my order of drinks. Two now. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Oof. Oof. Punch. 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 And Three. there is. Nothing I can do about it. 
Wait, what happens um, to our cards? I will double check. I they think probably will go back. No, that'd be interesting you, if they are lost. Actually, that would be no, interesting. No, 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 they're not lost. Basically, they're petrified, so they will still unpetrify one turn after another. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh, actually, that does make things interesting then, because if mm. there's a bunch of cards petrified, there's only a couple of players left. Suddenly, you're getting every turn, you're getting an extra card for random that you know well, but you know what it is. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I'm out after that one, and um, yeah. And so my gold gets split in half. So I technically have 19 uh, gold. So mm. that gets split down to 10. Yeah. I'm going to say all the artifacts are going away so they can be discarded. Oh, are they going to be discarded? Oh, yep. I'll take that then. I can take one free artifact. Uh, I can take one artifact for free. And that's going oh, to yeah. be the scorpion. And how approach. many players? Are, there's four players left, right? So yes. Two of these. Each get two and the rest all goes to the end. So yeah, two. everyone take two gold. I am going to be... Say that I'm reasonably happy about that. <laughs> yeah, it was Since not... I, I suspect that Ian is Tia Black is very happy about that as well. Actually, <laughs> I think uh, I think that's pretty think, much doubled. You just doubled. Yeah, you doubled your gold. You had, you had a two gold mm -hmm. artifact. You now have four gold and two artifacts. And mm -hmm. as for the rest of my drinks, because I had quite a lot in my drink deck, I had Troll Swill. I had. Uh, light ale, light with, ale a with a chaser. Oh, is this a light ale? ale. <laughs> Wizard fruit. Oh. Ooh. Uh, and if you want to know what else was in my hand, I had some more gambling cards because yay. Mm. Yeah. Um, as well as a cheating card, um, mm. which is just take control of the round of gambling, but then it has a glare ability, which I can't see because someone's got the hand over it. <laughs> Pick another player in the round, they anti one additional gold, and I take one gold from the pot. So they um, so you basically go over that. <laughs> yeah. I had another um, Vin de Venom, Vino de Venom, to affect someone's drink. And I had another petrify someone and then i had 10 cards i didn't get to see so that's a shame hmm. Hmm. shall we wait until we finish the game before we do the final discussion i think that's wise yes let's, yeah. wise. let's finish let's this first the main then. game done finish. yeah roxanne looks like new recipe ogre stew Ooh, that looks fish heads and eyeballs everywhere pick another player they lose two fortitude and gain one alcohol hey content. hey 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 hang on a minute what, an ogre stew mm -hmm. a stew for ogres not made of don't worry uh, it says at the bottom, or as the ogres call it, stew. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> True. I will also discard this and draw six. six. Mm. Oh, God, blimey. <laughs> okay, um, sure. It's going to get some vegable out there. Careful, some ingredients fight back. Don't worry, Gog, even though you've been pricked, it is not aiming towards you. It's aiming towards Phil. Two fortitude. Gog thinks, Gog thinks that is a wise idea. <laughs> Although Gog is growing very fond of tall coffee man. Hmm. He stare at him across table. He is most handsome. Thank you. Gog, ha Gog have strange feelings. Send a drink. It might be. Oh. It might be the caffeine withdrawal. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Phil is very appreciative and sends a coffee. Excellent. Why is Gog's Why is Gog's name spelt Goo? <laughs> <laughs> on cup. Well, Gog is getting another drink. Is he now? He is. He only had one. So, and see, I am drinking. Oh, God. Ooh, ooh, hello. Flute, Brute with a Chaser. That's a lot of symbols on the bottom of that card. There's a mm. one alcohol, one health, and a plus because it's a Chaser. And a Chaser is with oh, a light ale. Oh, my God, there's so Hang many on. things. <laughs> I, need okay, to, right, yeah, I need to figure out what this actually at, means. At the moment, it's a free alcohol and minus two health. No, it's not. He's got the gem of inebriation. Oh. Well, that's what the drink but, is, and then plus one alcohol. So yeah. it's four alcohol and minus two fortitude. <laughs> So, okay, so... <laughs> Gosh, that, that would put him between one of being knocked out. So, mm. yeah, so hang on. So, one, two, three, and an extra one. Yeah. And then one, and then, two... Uh, oh, my God, this oh, yeah. difference oh, of one. one. Dear Lord, that was a... It's... That was painful. That mm. was a... V Vija could technically kick you out right now. Or yeah. you could um, by a thousand times. Could kill you by one. I would... I will also go out by next round, almost guaranteed. I tell you what, uh, I'm adding that pixie spun candy floss, so that increases the alcohol content of that drink Ouch. by one. So that kicks me out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. And I'm just going to show you the hand that I got. That I pretty that... much all these, all these cards I drew at the end there, right? <laughs> Gambling I'm in, gambling I'm in, I raise, a cheating card, a sometimes card about losing gold, and cut the deck, another cheating card. I had 
<laughs> the gambling, <laughs> gambling cards. It's a hundred percent gambling hand. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Let's. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I had a fair bit of gold. Uh, I'm assuming the artifacts would do the same thing. Will happen. Yeah. Hang on, sir. If I give away my load of legend, though, I immediately draw two cards from my character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that doesn't count if you're already. Doesn't count. Yeah, you're already. Yeah, that's that, your turn has ended at that yeah. point. So there you go. Um, Clever uh, attempt to interpret the rules, though. <laughs> myself, Vija, <laughs> and Kev get two gold. Mm. Excellent. So gold Gog gold did gone. say <laughs> that that side of table was troublesome, and Gog is pleased to see that this side of table has survived. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Vija, you're up first. All right. Um, well, discarding that. Discarding that. Uh, gold game is not an issue at the moment. You know, the bottom of my deck, everything now, everything at the bottom of my deck here was cheating or gambling cards. All right. We Ooh. have uh, we have a new. What's this one? Enhanced Birchwood Bar. Add one alcohol content to a drink. It gains the effect of draw one card from your character deck. Ooh. So, a bit of naughty and a bit of nice. Mm. Interesting note at the bottom of the cards, which I hadn't actually noticed before, which is like, a drink may only have one mix in. So you can only can't, oh, you can't okay. like put everything yeah. into them. Hmm. Okay. The dramatic right. I, I, I am just reading what I have available, and it's like, uh, okay, so I am going to play a toast to bright eyes and bushy tails. You may return a mix-in from your discard pile to your mix-in shelf. I'll do that in a minute. Each player, including you, reveals a drink with possible chasers from the drink deck and drinks it. Oh no. Oh, oh good. No. <laughs> well, do you want to search your mix-in first? Because obviously you can use that on every one, each individual yeah. drink. Yeah. But that is including you. So you're, but this is, so you're going to be drinking this and also be having your drink deck drink. I just hope you realize that. Oh, yes, absolutely. This is very much a Hail Mary. Ritual, uh, kind of <laughs> okay. strategy. I um, just found this this, this is an amusing way to go. Uh, a risk it for the biscuits play. Yep. Lovely. Yes. Well, okay, the yeah. sure thing. So I am risking it on... No, no mission inspiration. No mission. Okay. Hmm. Two alcohol and you draw two cards. Yes, well, that could be useful. It was nice knowing everyone. <laughs> it's wine. <laughs> With a chaser. chaser. Oh. Why? Why? <laughs> With a chaser. Why? And I can't do anything about that. I am out. Yeah. Okay, Dog. it's with chasers, right? Oh, with chasers. Jesus. Yeah, with chasers. Right, this will be interesting. What have we got, Kev? We've got ourselves a mead. Ooh. Mead. Oh. A mead, which oh, is usually yeah. a drink which is split, but it will not be split. So it'll go one, two, three. Kevin will drink that. Okay. Nice. I will wait in case there's some sort of final hail. Some sort of from... nonsense, yes. Yeah. yeah, I'm taking this. Absolutely. Uh, but I get to draw two cards. You do, you do which do. might save you. Keyword, might. <laughs> okay. So, now for your actual drink. Uh, well, he's got to no, 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 I've got to give a drink, so... Oh. There you well, go. It's going to be me, because <laughs> and TA now is going out. Need, and now we need a new drink deck. Oh, do we? Oh, oh great. yes, we do. Uh, I'm, wait, I'm hey, just hey, going to hey, pick one. TA still yeah. got to pay because he's still in. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah true. <laughs> just picked his pocket on the way out. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations! You're now getting less gold when I get knocked out. Mm. Oh well, I'm not surviving this round anyway. Most likely. There you go. New drink deck. What have you got? All right, and I am drinking. Yeah. Oh, fire water. Oh, right. Oh, Let's see. A big. Um, even the gain one fortitude one won't help there, will it? No. no. Everything else is. Oh, there's reduced the alcohol content of a drink so by, by two. two, which is. But it's still enough. two. Yeah. Add no. one alcohol. Add one alcohol. Gain one fortitude, but that's not enough. Pay yourself money. Well, no, no. no. <laughs> Could I? Uh, oh wait. Uh, I can only have one mix in. Yeah, yep, only yes, have one. Yeah. one. Yeah. Suddenly, Ooh. that's coming clutch. <laughs> mm. I, yeah, I, I think. This, no, I don't think I can, which is a pity. But uh, I will still <laughs> do that. Uh, yeah, pay more myself. Drink. <laughs> um, I don't know, reduce the alcohol. reduce the alcohol content. So it is one, 
two, so I'm just on top of myself. And that is it. That is game. Keat is that out. Is game. Holy oh, crap! Gog wins! <laughs> Gog, Gog wins! wins. Oh. Well played. Gog wins! Well played. Wow. Mm. Suddenly three turns and four players go out. Yeah. Yeah? Wow. I mean, I was it, expected to go out in the first round, so... <laughs> you, you, yeah. You're not that cruel. <laughs> not yet. Oh, wow. So, um, yeah, I survive with a gap of three. I will tell you the cards I had left because they're interesting. <laughs> Um, I was waiting to see if Phil could get out of it, just so I could say, uh, Gog says you drink more. <laughs> <laughs> you should have that anyway. Yeah. No, which, no, because if he, which, no, because that might then, have actually got him out of it. Oh, Ooh, wine, which no. would have been a wine with a chaser and with Pixie Punch with, with a chaser. chaser. Yeah, oh. I was dead. He was very dead. Yeah. Um, yeah. I would like to know the other three cards, ladies and gentlemen. Well, um, that was from that last drawing I had uh, Gambling Gog in, <laughs> followed by Gambling Gog in, <laughs> and uh, would you Adam and Eve it Gambling Gog <laughs> in? Wow. So wow. I never, we never got to see Dance with Gog. I never got the What's in Gog sock. We didn't get the Gog thinks you cheat in Gog no like cheese, which was the next card apparently. Uh, Gog not no own strength. I didn't get the. Yeah, dance, dance with Gog with three God. cards down, see which way you lose four fortitude. There's a lot of stuff there. There's Wench. <laughs> Five cards down was Wench says, don't play with the drinks. And finally, his Gog gains two fortitude was was right near the bottom too. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. Wench thinks is a tip. What's his in Gog's sock, finally? Look what Gog found on floor. Oh, the, oh wait, so the, the two, you two get three ones. coin cards are together as well? I'm calling suspicious now. <laughs> but you won, though. I know, I'm still calling suspicious. <laughs> and then the two, the other two gambling gogging cards are together as well. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, yes, so Gog was... wins. I found oh, my well, just, card as well. Justice for ogres that were put into soup. Because <laughs> mm. that's what Gog thinks, because Gog is of simple mind, much like oh. myself. But this, now, now that the, now that uh, the game has been won, and all the rest of the people around the table must hoist Gog into the air on their shoulders and parade him around the inn. But we're all unconscious due to alcohol poisoning. <laughs> Gog, I suppose thinks, I should... Gog thinks Coffee Man is very chatty for somebody who's unconscious <laughs> alcohol poisoning. Would, would Gog like to hear about uh, Earthheart's last month in gaming? Yeah, Snake, Snake Girl, tell about your month, please, says Gog.
So, um, normally I would leave it to Nabal to do the Pokemon stuff, but uh, since they're not here today, I suppose I'd better go over it. So, we've had the Mewtwo event, which was um, a bit of a challenge, um, and quite a lot of people angry that you could solo it. Um, so, the reason being is basically they gave Mewtwo the best stats they could. Um, and also far more health than they would normally give a um, one of these challenge things. So rather than it being the, I think it's something like uh, 20 times their normal health, um, they gave it the same as the Pikachu event, which made sense because Pikachu is a weaker Pokemon, but they gave Pikachu 50 times the health. You give that to a legendary and, oh boy, is that a nasty fight. Um, the Basically, the other part of it was that you were encouraged to use Mew, which you got for free. Um, but that meant strategies were a little bit more limited. But there was a prevailing strategy, and I think most people managed to get it done if you could go on the internet. And I think that was the big complaint from some people was, you know, if you don't have free friends that play the game that live nearby you and you don't have Nintendo Online, it was kind of impossible. There were a couple of solo strategies developed in the end, but yeah. Um, but more importantly has been the DLC, um, the Teal Mask. Um, the short of it is, it's not very long. It's it's very similar to um, Pokemon Sword and Shield, where the first DLC was kind of a taster, and then the big stuff came in the second DLC. Um, this one, I mean, it's added a few. It's added about a hundred new Pokemon. Or as I say, a hundred new Pokemon. It's added four new, five, six, uh, six new Pokemon ish, a couple of new forms. Um, but they've added in a lot of the older Pokemon. Um, one of the big ones for our Ekans Master here is they added Ekans and its evolution back into the game. So it, Ekans is now playable and transferable uh, because Ekans was missing in Sword and Shield. A um, foolish mistake. Oh, Ekans. I mean, I can understand them not leaving him out at the beginning because Ekans is too powerful. You don't want the game to be too easy. A foolish mistake. Which, good recovery. <laughs> um, but as far as the new Pokemon go, uh, the ones that revealed... We had the new Aplin evolution. It's cute enough. I've not really used it. You've got the new um, T Pokemon, who weirdly have their names reversed compared to the normal ones. Um, interesting. Again, interesting Pokemon. I haven't really used them, so it's a bit hard to tell. Um, one of the Pokemon from Legends Arceus has got a new form that you catch and is exclusive to this and is the only way to get it, which feels a bit weird. Um, and then you've got all the new, the three new legendary Pokemon, plus the, sorry, the three new legendary Pokemon that are in a group, and the other legendary Pokemon that has a weird gimmick with its terrestrialization stuff. It's just nice enough story, and, you know, it's fine. It's okay. Um, and I think that's kind of the problem, is it's okay. They've got to do, they've really got to do what they did with the last game, and if the second expansion doesn't, have something massively impressive in it, it does I feel a bit like a waste. Um, so that's my overall view. Um, there's also been the event that started yesterday, which is to get Hisu Hisuian Decidui. Um, and that has genuinely been one of the easiest events um, that I think I've seen. So, um, Oh, uh, and I've also been reminded that we are going to an academy in Unova for DLC 2. But um, yeah, unless they add something like the... Uh, Gigantamax dungeon explorations that were in the previous game, which were really good because it meant you could capture a load of legendary Pokemon for previous games. Um, and that was almost worth, the, you know, that part of the DLC alone. But uh, yeah, I am slightly concerned that we're going to be a bit disappointed by this one. Um, but we'll have to wait and see for when the new uh, the new uh, DLC comes out, which we still don't know the date for. We know it's supposed to be coming out Winter 23, and I don't exactly know what Winter 23 is classified by Nintendo. Because for me, winter is like December, January, February. But January and February aren't in 23. So, eh. Other than that, I've not done a lot of stuff, to be honest. Um, I did a quick run-through of Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart again. Um, just because I want to see the new costumes they added. There's nothing particularly spectacular in that. Um, but it was fun to go through it again, but it reminded me how short the game was. I played it on its hardest difficulty, and I still completed it within about six hours. Now, admittedly, I know what I'm doing, but I don't know. I just felt like something was a little bit missing on that one. 
Um, I've been going back through the Talos Principle as well uh, in preparation for the sequel coming out in a month's time in November, early November. Um, it's a lovely puzzle. It's one I recommend to a lot of people because it's it's unusual. Um, there's very few 3D spatial puzzle games, I find, that are really good. Portal's obviously the big one. Um, but, you know, a, lo a lot of people recommended me The Witness, and I hated it in the end, partially because it was so far up its own arse. Um, and it made you feel like it doesn't want you playing it, which, you know, feels a bit weird for a video game. Is that just me? Hmm. I mean, I don't know. Any... Sort of just very, very sort of elitist in case sort of... Uh, we're only supposed to be uh, only, only supposed to be giving the people that know what they're doing, and sort of we're not going to let sort of anyone who's wanted to play this casually get a look in. That yeah. Kind of thing. And what I quite like about Talos Principle is some people have said, well, surely the voiceover is pretentious, and it kind of is, but it somewhat makes sense with the context of it because the whole idea is it's telling you what you can and can't do. Mm. But there are actually achievements for doing what it says, but then there's also achievements for telling it to piss off and doing what you want. So, you know, that's kind of nice. Um, but if and you, then if there's you... also the voice pack, which is just Serious Sam. Oh, uh, yeah, I was going to say, if you if you really do find the voice pack a bit annoying, change it to Serious Sam, because that loses all pretentiousness immediately. And he doesn't. the voice actor for Serious Sam doesn't take it seriously either, in a good way, so... Um, what else? I mean, at the moment, I'm assisting with two streams on a Tuesday night. Uh, one of which being with uh, Head Honcho Kev here. We are still going through Sniper Elite. Yes, indeed. Sniper Elite 5. And uh, I I mean, I, I think it's safe to say you are really enjoying it. I am, yes. Um, really getting involved with things. Yeah. So it's kind of my first time actually playing through the game in its entirety um, because... Just due to circumstances, I haven't really had time to play the game, just sit down and play the game myself. So it's certainly been interesting for me going through it and seeing what I remember from, you know, things in progress and such. Um, so, I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to the DLC levels and, um, yeah, I might go through uh, the hit level a few times just to get some of the... Because I've seen all of the deaths. Some of them are quite hilarious, but I'm interested to see how to get them all. Uh, but the other one I'm doing with Gavi on Ray from Radio Sega is Dark Souls 2, which is a weird game. Um, Dark Souls 2 is one of those ones where it's like, I mean, first of all, just in case Turbo is listening, it really should not be your first Dark Souls. Um, Gavi is massively struggling with it, despite him, I would say, being a Dark Souls veteran. He's not a master, definitely, but he knows what he's doing. And he's massively struggling with it. Now, I think that's partially because Dark Souls 2 has a really weird start to it. And it is not kind. Um, and it's specifically the remastered version that does that. And it's like, he, he's he been on the verge of... He's said to me a couple of times, like, at the start, he's been like, I'm not sure I actually want to do this. Especially when he's been playing other Souls, like like Lies of P, which I'm, I'll get to eventually. Um, and he's been really enjoying those. And he's been making good progress. So why is Dark Souls 2 this weird one? And I think it's just because that's how that game is. It's the only one of that mainline Dark Souls trilogy game that wasn't made by the core team. It was made by like a B team. So and I'm not saying they did a bad job, but they I don't think they've done quite as good a job as Dark Souls 1 and 3, certainly. And it's a shame because th there is some good stuff in the game. But I even me playing it through with Gavi as best as I can because I'm trying to keep up with him so if he desperately needs help I can try and co-op with him because it's much more difficult than the other ones um, but yeah even I'm just going through it it's just like these are why did they make these decisions I mean just to give you an example early on in the game and this is something they added to the Sins of a Scholar edition early on one of the areas you meant to get, go in the game is the forest and what they've done is on one of the bridges that you have to go past they've lined the entire bridge with explosives and there's a big enemy on there that swings a hammer and if he hits any of those explosives all of those explosives explode and early on in the game that's a one-shot kill and it's like why would you do that it, it just yeah it just doesn't make sense so yeah that's kind of that's kind of the big ones i mean i've i've kind of been messing about with a few other little bits as well um the only other new and i say new release um, it's a remaster re-release for an uh, older game called Quake 2, which many people 
dislike as either the start of the brown era of gaming <laughs> or just because it's a bit of a boring game. <laughs> but I don't know. I still enjoy it. And I've had a quick playthrough of the early parts, but I've also watched a Let's Play to see what they've changed. Um, the big thing with it is it now comes with all of the, uh, I was about to say DLC, expansion packs, <laughs> because we didn't have DLC back in our old days. Um, and they're all new to me for the most part. But let's just say the impressions that I've seen have not been very positive. So we'll see what I get to them. But I do want to go through, through it again. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, see, unfortunately, I think like all of the games I've played are just ones no one else here, other than Sniper 5, anyone has any interest in. Um, and I, after finally installing it, I have started to play Baldur's Gate 3. But I've done that for two hours today and haven't got that far. So I've never got no further than I got originally when I had it in beta. So I don't have too much to talk about on that one. So I think it is best we wrap this up now. And as anyone else would like to say anything. Anything. Well, there we go. <laughs> My thanks to Kevin, Shadow Fox, The Random Genius and Vija for joining me for this LMC cast. Yeah. Another one much. down. Lots of yeah. fun. Another end yeah. of the year. Yes. So, but we always enjoy Red Dragon Inns, don't we? Absolutely. Mm. But we thank you, and me and Shadow Fox will see you for probably one last cast for the year, but that'll be me, him, and Turbo. And uh, Kevin, are you planning anything for the end of the year? Um, There might be something for the end of the year, Ooh. since we're currently on after our... Goat <laughs> session, <laughs> our gaming goats session. Yeah, uh, Radio Redux is on show two hundred and forty nine currently, so I would suggest Ooh. that there might be something for show two hundred and fifty coming out in Radio Sega's Winterfest. Ooh. So we you look forward to that. Look forward we to say that. goodbye, everybody. Good, Good evening. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye.
Sweet.